Can solar save us? Most of the world's electricity comes from burning fossil fuels like coal. At current usage rates, coal will run out in 2088. The red alert's gone off. There's only one year until coal runs out. We will have to convince everyone to turn to solar energy. But is there enough solar energy to power the world? Can solar save us? Solar energy is a clean green electricity created from sunlight. Solar panels last for decades and produce no air pollutants like carbon dioxide. Do you know that the sun intercepts 10,000 times more energy from the sun than we currently use? And 72 minutes of the sun's energy could power the earth for a whole year? Sunlight is converted into electricity in a photovoltaic process. The sun shines on the solar panels generating DC electricity, which is fed into a solar inverter, converting it to AC electricity, which is used in homes. A solar cell is a sandwich of N and P type silicon. When photons hit this solar cell, electrons are freed from the silicon semiconductors. Positive and negative electrical conductors form a circuit that captures this energy in an electrical current. Solar energy is powering the motor of this model helicopter. When photons hit the solar panel, the helicopter turns. But when we shade the solar panel, the helicopter stops. So how can we use solar energy on a rainy day? This solar car demonstrates how much sunlight is needed to create solar energy. The car moves the fastest on a sunny day. There is still enough sunlight to make the car move on a rainy day. It just doesn't move as fast. It also travels slower if half the solar panel is covered. A lamp doesn't provide enough energy to power the car. And it doesn't move at night. How can we use solar energy at night? A solar light has a solar panel on top. When you twist off the top, you will see an LED light, wires and a battery pack. The solar cells are connected to the battery via a diode, which is a semiconductor that allows the electric current to pass in one direction. The battery is charged during the day. A photoresistor, which senses darkness, signals that the LED should turn on when there's not much light. The batteries can be used on a larger scale to power our homes and cities at night. We need more solar parks like this if we want to be completely reliant on solar energy. From the ground, this looks like a normal car park. But the whole of the roof is covered in solar panels that produce enough electricity to power the Sydney markets. Solar panels on rooftops utilise existing space. They are automated to tilt and follow the sun during the day to maximise the energy captured. So solar can save us.